My name is Michael Varga and I am a firefighter and a professional chef. When I had left Hungary after visiting my family and, and finding family that I never knew I had, it really inspired me and inspired the way I cook and the dinners and the events that I put on because they're not concerned about time. They were concerned about connecting and being together and enjoying a meal together and enjoying a drink and enjoying each other's company. I went to the farm where they were living now and everything was local. Like they, they raised their pigs, they raised their chickens, they grew their vegetables. Everything that they ate for the most part came off their land, which was amazing. This was my first time cooking squab and I really enjoyed it. It was really cool to take on uh, a new challenge, especially in the kitchen, to get out of the comfort zone and try something new. For the squab itself, I used uh, what's called a raz al hanout, and there are so many different versions of it. I think mine has about 18 or 19 different ingredients in it, and it varies from region to region in Morocco. When I put the spice blend together, it reminds me of my mom's side of the family. The influence behind this dish is my family. The flavors that I get from uh, my mother coming from Egypt and spices and memories I have of the mother's side of my family, uh, mainly my Nana growing up and smelling her kitchen and the way my dad taught me to cook, to cook the way I, I would watch him, his, his technique, his approach, his passion for it. So putting the two together really inspired me and the way I plated the dish is, is now my spin on it. So I was t I'm taking what my family, what I've drawn from my family in the past and now I'm putting my own footprint on it. I like to use Fraser Valley Specialty Poultry because they have great ingredients and ingredients that are, aren't readily available. Squab is such a delicacy and such a unique product that you don't see in a lot of places, so it's amazing to be able to find it locally here. There, there are no rules in fusion, first of all, in my mind. Just cook for yourself. Do what you like, do what you love. Don't worry about what other people think or how it looks, how it looks on the gram. Cook with love, cook with passion, and just do it for yourself. Do it for yourself.